Hello, this video is going to be a plus to your knowledge as you are going to gain a vital knowledge about Protax Steel in which we will be designing word connections and then we provide an adequate word length successfully for the word connection as well as the best place. So stay tuned, stay connected as we make progress into this presentation. So we will be loading this project into Prota Steel so we can carry out the uh, word connection design successfully. This project has been analyzed successfully and designed as well in the previous video. You can check the video on our channel. So we proceed, click on the Prota Steel to get this project into Prota Steel. Give it some seconds to load this project successfully. So here we go, we have our project now in protest. You can see the footing has been displayed successfully. I will show you how we can correct that. Well, straight away, just as I've said earlier, we'll be designing the word connection. All right, so we proceed to uh, commencing that successfully now. So we have to, first of all, if you see this inclined support uh, beam, you notice it is not well embedded inside of the boot beam and then the vertical member that it supported so what you need to do is you have to select it double click on this first you will have this profile dialog so in this profile dialog you will need to extend this okay so come to where you have offset start and end okay so over here at the uh, start you will have 150 so at the end if you apply this you can see the effect right there okay so over here what you have to do preface that with minus sign and this is this is 150 applied so you have it extend both just like this okay so having extend this i would like this one to go in the more so i will have a year to be 200 just like this i click on the applied you see okay it is well in being extend inside of the uh horizontal beam okay so having done this you just just go click on okay options we need to also extend this one but for you to extend this one you just have to select this come to where you have edit okay and then you see this match element select it pick this beam okay you see the same effect is being applied to this other beam successfully all right so the same thing we're going to be doing to this beam as well select it double click on that so you have this profile dialog all right so over here you have 150 or you can just have the provisions to 200 so you can extend in more so you have minus 150 right here just like this applied so you have something of this kind being extended just like this okay so after which we will use this match property but by then you have to select the target beam first pick the match property and then the source beam to have it extend just like this as you can see after which you close this all right so for protest steel master class is ongoing so if you want to really learn protest structure and understand the protest steel uh, from A to Z, you should join our master class. A link in the description of this video for you to be able to get across to uh, to our class successfully. So we make progress. If maybe you want to maximize these windows, what you need to, we have just have to navigate to a uh, have view right there. You see this maximum maximum model view. So you just click on this. You see everything is maximized. All right, you can see. All right, if you want to get it back to the previous, you can use this option. See it here, yeah? click that, you get it back. Okay, so you can always use it here yes, at the quick uh, to bar. Okay, all right, that is it. Now we want to start to trim. Before you should wait, you have to trim. All right, so we need to trim all of this. And before we have to trim, we need to cut some sections. All right, so for us to cut a section, or we will cut the section along the line B right there and along the line C. And we also cut a section along the line uh, 3 right there. So what we need to do, if you check over here, we're already having a section view on grid line 3. All right. If I double click on this section, this is what you have. Okay. So this is what we have here. So we need to trim this beam so we can be able to wear it as well. But let's get back to it with it. 
Here we go in the 3D, we need to create more sections on the line B for us to create our sections over to view tab. You see in this uh, panel, we have view by two points, all right? So pick that view by two points and then you have to pick the first point on, along the line B, and then the second point to create uh, that view, okay? So with this, it will be easy for us to trim it, all right? So as for us to wear it successfully. So you double click, you can give it a name by double clicking on this blank space, you have the view property. So you can see we have new view here as the name. We will change it to view on green line. Just view on green line, uh, green line B right there. Just like this, after which we click on the OK option to have it placed here, you see. So now if you mistakenly, you uh, hold down the uh, the right mouse button, you see you can be able to obey this uh, view successfully. So if you want to get it in, a, a, in, a, in an elections manner, if you want to get it back to the previous uh, elections view, you will need to double click in this black space. You can see rotations along the X and Y has been shifted. Take it back to zero and zero. Click on the apply and okay. So here we go. So we make progress. We want to trim this successfully. So for us to trim this, we will have to get to detailing. So over detailing, we have the notch. We have the 2D fittings. We have the profile fittings. Okay. So we'll be using this 2D to be able to trim this successfully. So I want to trim this inclined beam. Now I will have to select 2D it is all right i click on it once all right so i have to select the member which i want to trim i have to select that and i pick the first point which is this point all the way i will come over here pick the second point and then the third point to have it trimmed successfully so it's been trimmed successfully this provision you are seeing is not actually this beam is the next uh inclined supported beam all right so over here i will come here i will need to also trim this successfully all right so i will select this two and then i will pick this member all right the first point i will pick here to be my first point and then pick the second point which is here all the way i will come over here to pick this point to have it trimmed successfully so it has been trimmed all right then i will now proceed i will need to trim this as well i pick this to the fittings select the member i will select the first point i go all the way this is going to be my second point i take it up to the third point to have that trim successfully i'll come back to these provisions to do the same thing select the 2d select the member the first point over here select the second point and then i will select the third point to have that trim successfully so that is trim let's check it out in 3d i'll double click on 3d to have this just like this you can see it is being trimmed successfully see it here being trimmed this one is not trim while this is trim all right so what we are going to do you can see the three micros right there if you don't want to see this micro you can select in these provisions to get rid of the three micros you can now see it here very clear over here okay nothing is clashing you can see all right so but this one that is not trim let me check if we can use the mash property to mash this okay successfully i will activate this micros first and then i get to this uh edit tab and then you see mash property so this is my target uh member and then this is the source member so i have to select the target member first before i pick the mash element and I select the source uh, member to see, okay, you see, it tried to trim it, but it's not properly trimmed, actually. So we are going to be doing that just as we did this once successfully. I will have to undo that effect to get it the way it was before, just like this. Now I will now have to take a, an election along the line C. For me to do that, I will get to view and then I select View by two points, I picked the first point, I go all the way, pick the second point along the line C to have this view successfully. I can name this as a view on green line C, so I can be able to know it successfully. 
So you click on apply it and OK. After which, now we proceed to carry out the cut. All right, this grid line. So this is the member we are going to be cutting. All right, and this is a. Uh, if you double click on this, you see this is a uh, view on grid line C. All right, so if you select this member, you can see next one. All right, so just check view on grid line B right there. All right, which is this one. All right, so if you have to be sure that uh, you are actually in the right view, so you can be able to have a perfect cut. All right, so get back to the grid line C. So we pick on this member 2D fitting member uh, micros rather. We need to select the member we are going to cut, which is this one. Get that selected successfully. After which, we will have to pick the first point. Come out the way, pick the second point, and then the last point to have that cut successfully. Just like this, okay. Over to this side, pick the micros, pick the member. In the first point, second point, uh, okay, whether we are really cutting the right member, so what you have to do in this case, you need to tie the window, for you to tie the window, you have to navigate to the view tab right there, you come over to these provisions, and then you can see, you can tie the window vertical, so if you tie the window vertical, you have this, okay, so we may close some of these windows, all right? So we will have uh, to set to view the one we are actually working on, all right? We are working on this one. So let me close this up there and then you can actually maximize this just like this, okay? Just like this, all right? So after which you can now be able to see the member if you select from here can see this member is being selected which we are yet to cut okay this one is the one that we have cut so let's check on this okay so this is the one that uh, we have not cut this one so I'm trying to check to see if we are in the right part okay so I have selected this which is this one okay so this is on green line what Let's check that out. This is green line C. All right, so we double click here. We are already here on the green line C. So this is what we have. We need to call this now. Pick this member, select this one, and then pick the first point. Uh, pick the second point, and then the third point right there. We have that member cut successfully. Same thing will be applicable to this provision. We pick this point. And then first point, second point, and third point to have that cut. Okay, so let's check this member in 3D. Okay, this is the final member we will be cutting. This one. All right. So we will proceed. Pick this member. The micros right there. Select this, this first point, second point, and the third point. Okay, let's check this. All right, everything is fine. So we have successfully cut this, trim the inclined uh, beam successfully. You can see, all right, this has been trimmed. You can see this one is not really touching the member. So if you deactivate the micros, you can actually see what we're having there okay this is actually in line but this one is not in line right so this is also in line okay only this one so what we do let's check if we can use if we can use this uh property to actually correct this one so you get this selected and then you have to navigate to the edit tab you use this match element Let's select this, check if that has been extended. Okay, it's not still extended. All right, so we proceed 
to the wedding we can still extend this okay we can still extend this if uh, let me check over here okay this side is very much uh model so if you double click on this you have a dialogue so in this dialogue you can see we have uh, over here we have over here uh minus 56 okay so let's just make it uh, we we'll have to increase it uh let's say 100 see what we have there click on applied okay so let's check if it is big as your state this side all right okay so we can still be able to get this done all right click on the apply and okay we'll get back there later so we need to trim this one as well so trimming that one that is on the grid line three so if you double click here yeah, we'll have this grid line right here yeah. so we can get rid of this window close this window then you can actually move this window here yeah. expand this one place your cursor along it so you can have it expand successfully or you can just maximize it right there okay so you pick this two select this pick the first point just have to zoom closely pick this first point all the way pick this point and the third point to have that cut successfully also this select this pick the first point second point third point to have it cut just like this so having cut all of these members successfully we are still in this so since we are still here, I would like us to adjust this uh, footings right here. How do you adjust these footings? You just have to get this footing selected like this, right click. You can see move option. Click on move options. Pick this first point. Zoom closely so you can see it very clearly. Click that point and pick it also here yeah, to have it move successfully. Now, having moved this, you just have to use dimensions. You can go to edit tab and then uh, you see major. Use this. Check this. What do you have here from this point to this point? We are having 700. Okay. So since we are having 700, half of 700 should be uh, should be about uh, six uh, three uh, 350 right there. So let's move this again. Select this footings. Right click and click on move, and then zoom closely right here, and then pick this point all the way. Come all the way here. Zoom closely. Make sure it's not the point. For you picked to have it placed successfully all right but if your own is not working effectively make sure you set your work plane so set your work plane go to view and then you can see over here to view plane if you select this okay this will be aligned so with this you can move it either way successfully all right so now we want to be centralizing the footings okay with the two columns so for what you need to do go to edit tab and then click on the Major and then let's measure from this point to this point. We have 350. Okay, so 350 we should be having a 175 there about. Okay, as half of 350. All right, so slow this member right click and then get to move special. So get linear right there. So move special linear, which is this. All right, if you check the UCS, you can see the direction. So we'll be going y zero all right and then we go x all right so x is going to be 175 all right so we are going to the left all right so we can preface this with minus minus right there click on move so you have this okay click on close so now this has been centralized we go to 3d you see we have our footage being centralized so now we are at 3d go to view again and then be able to set this to global so just like this okay now we proceed we want to start the wedding connections all right for the wedding connections just have to zoom closely to this member like this we need to wait this incline member to the vertical column member right there so now get to still options and then you see we have a weight right there click this so now zoom closely to the line that touches the vertical members and the horizontal member where my cursor is pick that point and then select the vertical member to have it weighed just like this okay so if you see this way we need to provide it with the weight length 
we need to also make it around this uh, edge of this uh, inclined support member. So we select this way, double click to have a dialog, just like this. For the web length in this provision, we have to provide six millimeters web length right there. So if you want it to get around this uh, edge of this member, you need to come to word uh, type, okay? Click in this provision, you see all round, and then click on apply. So you see it goes round, click on okay option. So we have successfully waited this successful, okay? So coming over to these provisions, we will need to do the same thing. But we are having some uh, little bit uh, challenges here where this is not properly trimmed, okay? Which we will come back to that. So it will kill our time for now. We proceed in the wedding of these uh, members. So you go to back to steel again, pick this point, select this, zoom closely, you pick this point. Select this to have it place, right click, interrupt, double click on this, and then you can give it a length, six millimeter length, well, okay, all around, applied, and okay, so just like this, all right, the same thing applicable if you want to wear this, okay, this one, do the same thing, come to wait, select it, pick this point, all right, and then pick the member to have it place, interrupt, double click on this. Give it the weight length, 6 millimeter weight, all around, options, applied, and OK. So we weighted these two members together successfully. OK. We proceed to this one, the same procedure you can use, OK. Always pick the line, select the uh, primary member, right there, right click, interrupt, select the weight, and then you will Come to a half length, six millimeters length, and then you will use all round options apply that. Okay, so by doing the same thing, you will be able to wear this successfully. Now, if you zoom closely, you see this edge is not touching this member. Okay, so what you now what you have to do, go to view on grid line three, double click right there. You have this when you come to this. Extent what you need to come to edit and then you can be able to dimension this to know the distance You have from this point Make sure you zoom closely from this point to this point We are having 25.4. All right 25.4. So you double click on this member in the dialog over here Let's check uh, and go up to the 5.4. Okay so let's apply that C. Okay, that goes up. You can see. Click on the OK option. So now this has moved up. We need to extend this. So select this target member. Okay. Come over to match element and use this to match it up just like this. Okay. All right. So we will get back to 3D. All right. Now I will show you how you can actually carry out the base plate. Uh, design okay for best plates i've shown you how you can't carry out your uh weight connection successfully so you can't carry out the rest all right but for the best plate if you come over here you have a best plate over here this is it so you select this best plate once pick this member to have it placed successfully so you can see because i've set i have a preset okay since I have a preset, this has been placed successfully, just like this. Let me just place it on the other provisions. I pick this, okay, and select this member to have it placed successfully. Uh, but I'll be explaining this and the settings to you, so you can't be able to do it on your own. So what you do, you have to enable the setting dialog, get all of these members selected, just like this, enter on the keyboard. So you have this uh, group object dialog. In this group object dialog, ungroup it from here. Check this micros and then enter again to have the members the micros dialog. Okay, so here is the micros dialog. In this micro dialog, so this is the option we are using. So base plate with stiffener. So we can see we have stiffener one functioning, stiffener three functioning. Okay, but stiffener four is not functioning. As well as stiffener two is not also functioning. So these are the two active stiffener that you see here. Alright, for the settings of the stiffener. You can also have it here. So here we are having the end plates, which are these plates. It is 12 millimeters, which is the thickness. Okay. So you can give it a name. 
before you proceed to print your drawing this should have a name as a plate you can copy this from here paste in these provisions just like this okay you paste in these provisions just like this so over here is the path position so path positions is one so you just key in one all right and then assembly positions uh, okay so uh path positions is the path name so you just put it as p right there okay p right there all right then path starts it's going to start from one all right then assembly positions should, should be uh, uh p uh p you can use anything that you can be able to remember i use pt okay for the assembly position so you can copy this as well copy and paste in these provisions just like this just like this okay now start is going to be one ish so the count is going to start from one okay so you can be able to count as many stiffener we have in this uh, model successfully so now you come over here you have chamfering you can see over here so if you want it to be straight you can make this straight okay if you really want it to have a chamfer the edge you can make it to be straight just uh, like this as i've made the change can apply it you see all the stiffness is now straight right there now the stiffener height i used is 200 millimeters and then the chamfer edge is 100 the second height is 50 is it applicable to all the stiffness come to these provisions you don't have any uh changes to make here but here has to do with the weight one way two okay you see this stiffener has been weighed to the base plates and as well to do it to the as well to the stanchion so you can give the weight sizes which is six millimeters okay for both assembly and parts okay six millimeters all right so this is how you make changes here for the type of weight you can use this one all right this type of weight in its provisions okay all right so this is how you carry out the settings of your base plates successfully after which the angle and the contour the finishing the, uh, the rough first and the rest of that you can leave that at default so you can see what we are having a w9 and then a w3 and the rest of that which are the weight lengths okay the secondary uh weights okay we only really have secondary weights right here so you don't have any changes here come to the anchor holes so the anchor holes i use is type 2 okay type 2 created holes uh along the uh along along the flange of the stanchion you can see while well, type one created uh, along the web of the stanchion as you can see from here all right so for the shear key you can choose to use shear key device okay right here yeah, after we click on the apply it and okay so that is the settings for this base plate all right as the setting for the bed plate. so we are able to carry out the weight connections we are able to carry out the uh we are able to carry out the base plate uh connections for the anchor bolts you can as well come to the miscellaneous you see anchor bolt if you right click here you see you have uh, an anchor bolt options to select the type okay it's of two types the c type and the simple type all right so you give it a name as anchor bolts and then the geometry you can carry out the settings for these settings we have 460 as the length embedded length and then you can see we have m20 bolts right there and then uh, we have the diameter of both to be 20 okay the capacity 2.46 right there after you are okay with the settings applied and okay picked it once right click and select this member to have it placed just like this select this member right click to have it place just like this okay all right so this is what we have been able to carry out so we can also weight this uh polar member to this beam and as well to weight these beams successfully what you have to do you need to go back to the uh detailing you use this option profile fitting so if you select this profile fitting you can select the main member and then the primary member to have it 
word successfully. So if you check these provisions, you will notice that uh, this has been worded and then properly fitted. You can see it's properly fitted right there. You can see. So no further action is needed there. Pick this, select the main and the primary member to have that. Place successfully. So you see the word connections. The same thing, this member and this member, just like this. This member and this member, just like this. Okay, this one and this one. All right, this and this. Okay, all right. For for this one, you need to extend this member. All right, you need to extend this member. So you can go to the roof, which is the level three. Yeah. Okay. So you need to extend this member this way. So you have to dimension to know the extent of uh, offset. You will do up to this point. You are having like about forty-four point three right there. Forty-four point three. So you can double click on this member and then you have this key in of 44.3 over this side 44.3 right there click on apply and okay let's check what apples okay all right we have this site lapped very well so this side now we need to prefix it with minus so let's take this to be the start so let's see if that is the start point apply that is it click on the okay so if you go to the 3d now you will see that that has been lapped successfully you can see all right you don't have that uh open uh provisions any longer okay so now you can now use this member this tools to close this up this and this you can see now everything looks nice now you can see all right so for proper proto steel training you can't actually reach to us through our contact in the description of this video all right so if you want to close this provision with a plate i want to show you what you can do you want to close here with a plate it's very simple come to steel see plate click on plate right there and then once you click on plate you have to pick the points where you're going to place this plate so i want to pick this point so I'm picking these four points because I need a plate here to cover this provision. So plate geometry is not defined. So okay, the geometry is not where this one. You can interrupt that. So look on the plate again, and then uh, you can't pick this point. Let's get this. So you have a plate there. You can see. You double click on the plate you can change the size to 12 or 10 all right because you are just to cover that edge apply it and okay so you see this now so with this you see it is clashing so you can move it to the edge of this uh beam you can right click and click on the move options then you pick this point and move it to this place you can see now it's no longer clashing so the same thing you do to every other edge of this all right so we are going to be stopping here in this video all right in the next video i will show you how you can be able to produce a joint of this in a way that it will be very very effective so i know you must have learned one or two things don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more presentations of this kind stay safe and bye for now